Welcome to War India News R. Artificial intelligence technologies are being weaponized by the hackers. AI technologies have extensively been applied in cybersecurity solutions, but hackers are also leveraging them to develop intelligent malware programs and execute stealth attacks. Artificial intelligence is a double-edged sword that can be used as a security solution or as a weapon by hackers. AI entails developing programs and systems capable of exhibiting traits associated with human behaviors. The characteristics include the ability to adapt to a particular environment or to intelligently respond to a situation. Companies and governments throughout the world are beginning to make use of AI tools for the effectiveness and efficiency gains they present. Governments and companies must make a myriad of decisions throughout the course of completing their missions and objectives. AI tools allow them to integrate and analyze large amounts of data to improve their decision making. AI tools are used to make determinations about loan applications, to execute stock trades based on market trends and to route packages. Organizations use AI to model and monitor the behavior of system users. The purpose of monitoring the interactions between a system and users is to identify takeover attacks. These are attacks where malicious employees steal login details of other users and use their accounts to commit different types of cyber crimes. AI learns the user activities over time such that it considers unusual behavior as anomalies. Whenever a different user uses the account, AI-powered systems can detect the unusual activity patterns and respond either by locking out the user or immediately alert system admins of the changes. AI is being used by law enforcement for surveillance, the judicial system for risk assessment, finance companies to detect fraud, social media to determine your likes, and search engines to deliver the best results. Security experts have conducted a lot of research to harness the capabilities of AI and incorporate them into security solutions. AI-enabled security tools and products can detect and respond to cybersecurity incidents with minimal or zero input from humans. AI applications in cybersecurity have proved to be highly useful. Experts say antivirus tools with AI capabilities detect network or system anomalies by identifying programs exhibiting unusual behavior. Malware programs are coded to execute functions that differ from standard computer operations. AI antiviruses leverage machine learning tactics to learn how legitimate programs interact with an operating system. As such, whenever malware programs are introduced to a network, AI antivirus solutions can immediately detect them and block them from accessing system resources. This contrasts from signature-based traditional antiviruses which scans a signature database to determine whether a program is a security threat. Hackers are turning to AI and using it to weaponize malware and attacks to counter the advancement made in cybersecurity solutions. Cybercriminals prefer email communication as the primary delivery technique for malicious links and attachments used to conduct phishing attacks. Symantec states that 54.6% of received email messages are spam and may contain malicious attachments or links. Anti-phishing emails with AI and machine learning capabilities are highly effective in identifying phishing emails. Let's look into today's headlines in Var India. Lenskart invests $2 million in GeoIQ. Lenskart has invested $2 million in the pre-series A round of GeoIQ, an AI-based local intelligence platform. Bengaluru-based GeoIQ is a geoanalytics company that provides real-time hyperlocation data for enabling strategic decision-making across industries. GeoIQ's AI-based location tool will help Lenskart with its aggressive store rollout strategy by identifying new locations to open high ROI potential stores. It will also gather accurate market share data across micro-markets and run more targeted regional marketing campaigns. Government issues high-risk warning to Apple users using old software. India's Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology's Indian Computer Emergency Response Team has issued a high-risk warning for Mac users who are still using the old software. If the Safari browser is running a version prior to 15.4, Certain has immediately urged to update the device. The warning states that previous Safari versions have several vulnerabilities that may have been exploited by hackers in an attempt to hijack Mac. Delivery falls below IPO price in grey market. Shares of logistics and supply chain startup delivery have slipped below the IPO price in the grey market ahead of listing due to continued losses reported by the firm with weak cash flows. Its IPO price ban was set at Rs 462 to 487 a share. The stock was already seeing muted volumes in the grey market after the IPO saw a dull response from retail and high net worth investors. 
the IPO got a tepid response from retail and high net worth investors with their categories subscribed just 0.57 and 0.3% respectively. Try to start consultations for a KYC-based caller name display. Telecom Regulatory Authority of India will soon start consultation on drafting a mechanism for caller's KYC-based name to flash on phone screens when someone calls. The telecom regulator has received a reference to begin consultation on the same from the Department of Telecom. It is said that once the framework for KYC-based new mechanism is worked out, the identity establishment will become more clear and legally tenable. It will also have a ripple effect, leading to a cleanup of data on crowdsourcing apps as there will be KYC linkages. India to add 30 crore more OTT users, says IB Minister. Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur said that India's OTT market is set to grow at 21% every year, inviting foreign producers to shoot films in the country. Speaking at the India Forum in Keynes, Thakur assured that the government will take all measures to speed up co-production from around the world and also offer the best locations in India for film shoots. He also added that the government has envisioned major initiatives over the last eight years to boost co-productions, film shoots and film facilitations in India. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.